Well, hello again everyone, and uh, welcome back to another uh, coronavirus stay-at-home COVID-19 um, shoot from my neighborhood. Yeah, just like the rest of the world, um, it is uh, now the middle, middle of April, and uh, we are still at a, uh, under a stay-at-home order um, here in the state of Washington, and so um, I am doing my social duty and staying at home. And as I mentioned in my last video, uh, where I talked about the, the gear and such, um, the area that I live is, uh, is right at uh, an urban boundary. And uh, it does have a series of trails, maybe 15 or 17, 18 miles worth of uh, different trails around the, the entire property. And so I am able to get out and at least uh, experience somewhat nature, urban though it be. Um, but I've come down today to a... Uh, retaining pond in hopes of maybe uh, there are some uh, uh, Canadian geese and also some ducks that come here. Um, it's not as good as being out in nature, but uh, I think right now you have to kind of uh, roll with the punches, so to speak, and, uh, and be happy with uh, what you have. So I've come down here. I haven't made a video since my last video when I talked about the gear. And oh, by the way, um, I uh, thank you for everyone that sent me an email to enter into the uh, giveaway of the uh, Low Pro Pro Tactic 450. Uh, and congratulations to John. I did get your email that you received it uh, uh, this past Friday. So I hope, uh, I hope that serves you well. But today, I'm just, uh, I don't have any expectations. Um, I did bring the, uh, the 200 to 600 millimeter lens and mounted it to the A9 Mark II just because uh, I think today is going to be a wildlife. If anything, it's going to be a wildlife and maybe birds, ducks, geese uh, types, type of uh, photography day. But uh, no expectations. I'm just out walking around and uh, I brought you along with me. So uh, let's see what we can find out. So there are two Canadian geese that are on the far bank of this retaining pond. You can tell the females um, because they are the uh, lesser colored of the species. The male has more brightly colored green and red. Um, the female is brown and white and uh, doesn't have the color that the male does. But in this group there is uh, one male that is by himself and there are two females that have gone on the far bank. So that's what that's what I was taking a picture of. So this turned out pretty good. It's really nice just to get out and uh, take a walk in the woods, so to speak. Um, some wonderful light on these uh, these ferns behind me. Um, just out in the on the perimeter of the wood line here, but uh, you can hear the birds singing, hear the sounds of the forest. If you can't be in the back country, I guess this is the next best thing. Uh, it's, cons it's considerably cooler today. Uh, today it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what? 10 degrees C? And yesterday we were at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 18 C. So uh, we've, cut, we've cut our temperature quite a bit today, uh, which is fine with me. Um, of course, I'm uh, kind of anxious for summer and also anxious for things to get back to normal. Um, 
whenever that time comes but uh, I still enjoy those cool spring mornings and don't want to give that up quite yet so uh, yeah I'm just kind of wandering around and seeing what else I can find I was lucky to find those Canadian geese back there but uh, hopefully something else maybe a woodpecker or a bird but let's see There's a red-bellied woodpecker here. I was making quite a racket a minute ago, but uh, it's gone inside its hole. There's one dead tree here that's it's got a few woodpecker holes in it. Interesting. <laughs> I had to move pretty quick. I wasn't able to film much, but uh, I'll show you the picture. Well, hopefully, hopefully one of my pictures turned out and it wasn't blurry. found a uh, different location. This is further down from the uh, retaining pond, uh, but this is a wetland. And so wetlands are typically really good locations to uh, photograph birds and other wildlife. So I really don't know if there's anything here, but uh, I figure I'll stand here for a minute or two just to see. Uh, looking at some stuff you know wetlands are at least this one uh, pretty hard to shoot in there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of chaos and uh, this one especially near the edge there's a lot of uh, dead branches and such so um, depending on depending on where the wildlife or birds come um, I still may be able to good, get a uh, good composition but it's kind of nice to just sit here and listen to forest is definitely alive. I can hear a woodpecker. I was just trying to find it. Now, two woodpeckers in one day. Uh, that would be a uh, that would be a successful day. There's not a lot of birds, but there's a few. Um, can't tell 
There's one at the top of this dead dead tree, but I can't see from this perspective uh, what kind of bird it is. It's definitely not a woodpecker. It's bigger than a woodpecker, um, uh, but smaller. Some kind of bird of prey, probably, looking over the wetland. Um, I'll take a look when I get back to my house on the computer and see see if I can tell uh, what kind of bird it is. But I'm looking at it from the back, so it's kind of kind of difficult to tell. Well, that was actually a lot of fun. Um, so you can have a good time, even when you're shooting right close to your house. Um, so who knows how long this craziness of stay at home, shelter in place is gonna last, but uh, today is proof that uh, you can still shoot local, uh, stay close to your house, um, certainly maintain that uh, social separation and social distancing, uh, but still have a good time in nature. I know not everyone has this uh, opportunity, but I would encourage everyone to uh, get out when you can, even just a walk outside in the fresh air uh, can really help with the senses. Um, I know that everyone's getting tired of being stuck at home and uh, seeing the same thing. So we're all in it together. Um, I hope you and your family uh, stay safe. Uh, thanks again for uh, coming along for this uh, stay at home, shoot local trip um, in my neighborhood. And if you like the video, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. And um, I will be staying at home until it's uh, safe not to do so. I am anxious to get back into the backcountry, but uh, um, until it's safe for society to uh, get back to normal, um, I'm stuck at home like everyone else. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.